Hey there, Cosmic Kittens and Planetary Puppies of those who identify with the Divine Feminine Vibe. It's your girl, Cats, the Wandering Intuitive. I'm back with your Thanksgiving week forecast. So this is timeless, so when you find it, it's the right time for you, okay? Let's get to it. Remember, take what resonates, pitch out the rest. If you have cards, pull along with me so you can see how these energies will be influencing areas in your personal life. Uh, all my holiday specials running from now through December 31st down below in the description box along with contact information and the decks I am using. All right, let's do this. Divine Feminine. Okay, <laughs> we're probably going to be feeling this late Sunday night, um, Monday. This, <laughs> it's going to kind for some of you, remember, take resonates, pitch out the rest. It might feel a little like, um emptiness like something should be going on but there's nothing going on okay we do have space <laughs> just space okay that's being made for us to focus on other things when there's nothing going on let's not try to do pumnados with all this other stuff i know some of you are actually hosting uh thanksgiving dinners maybe or planning on going to thanksgiving um plus work and kids and whatever okay um, but spirit's very adamant on us taking the space needed, okay, this week for certain things. So hold on, one moment, okay. Now, there is the beginning of this week through about Tuesday-ish. We do have that transit energy um, still wrapping up. Um, it hit us hard over the weekend. A lot of people are still reeling, trying to recover. We do have the mystery card here. Now, the moon does still play prominently in this. Okay, and she is going, she is waxing, going into full, and she's no joke right now. Okay, now, <clears throat> we are going into a week where we are not going to get information right away. Okay, uh, it's almost like we're going to be left hanging uh, for some of us, and some of you might be going, oh, you know. You might be waiting for people to get back to you. You might be waiting for a go ahead on doing something. Okay. So be patient. Spirit says there's a reason for the delays and we're not supposed to be able to see ahead right now, right now, just going in because it's almost like spirits putting things on hold that aren't a priority. Okay. So don't worry about the shit. It ain't on your plate. You need to finish that plate. That's right in front of you first before you start looking around to certain other dishes. Okay. That's the big message. So as we're not sure what's happening, the big thing that we have to watch out for is how we're reacting to not getting information or communication when we want it. Okay. Well, I need to know because blah, blah, blah. If it doesn't come, then you, you go for it. Okay. Um, that was a message from sure for somebody out there. Okay. So we're going to pull tower on this because that's a lot. Couldn't keep it simple. Okay. <laughs> now, this is integral that we are going through this space right now. Okay. That things are going to be weirdly quiet. Like, so we have to focus here and now. We have to do this because there is a little bit more, there's a growth spurt happening that we aren't aware of because we're, you know, busy out here. We need to be here. Okay. We have to be here to facilitate the birth. Okay. I don't know who that's for. Okay. That's all of us down here though. Okay. I feel there's something new getting ready to pop up. That's why everything out here has got to be silent for a little bit. We got to be here taking care of us. Are we still look, you know, going within? Are we checking in? How are we? Are we tired? Fucking rest. You know, make the time to rest. You're worth it. Right. Are you, are you running away getting sucked into stuff? Mm -mm. You need to be here. What are you afraid of? Right. Because things are going to be popping up to show you exactly the work you've been doing. Maybe you feel like I've been doing all this and nothing's happening. You're trying to slide back into old patterns and behaviors and they're not, it's not boding well. It's almost like it's worse. You know, it's like spirit put in this uh, fail safe. Mm -mm, you're not going back there. The insomnia, no, nope. because say you do do it, pull an insomnia thing. Okay. Next day you feel like utter hell. And all you did was stay up late. It, it like hits different. I don't know who that's for. Okay. Use this space to rest. Resting the mind. Resting the body. Okay. Especially the mind and the emotions. Rest. 
Okay, we don't need to keep getting riled up. I mean, really, all you're doing is scattering energy and just loading down the collective, you know. Ah! And we're all feeling it, especially in past. Ah! Ah! Why am I, why am I doing, what am I doing? <laughs> I have nothing going on. What's happening, you know? Rest. So it said that's going to be a big one for a lot of you watching this, okay? Sometimes they go, well, I do go to bed, but I lay there awake. Spirit is in that space. That's when we have to start talking to ourselves. All right, what's wrong? What do you really, and break it down. Just keep digging until it stops. Because once we nail it, the mind shuts up. Okay. Because that stuff that's coming up is, is connected to past. Okay, stuff. Okay, that's why it's, you don't want to make the same mistakes. Really. You don't want to be disappointed and you don't want to blah, blah, blah. So it comes in a different way of talking to you to keep you, going like freaking out panicking what if i do something wrong what if uh, you know what if they don't like me what if this what if that you know um and it's easier said than done trust me but it can be done okay now what's really interesting i know you guys are going what the fuck cats anyway <laughs> sorry <laughs> spirits being very like uh there's a lot of stuff going on out there so we're trying to narrow it down tonight the big, there's a big, huge energy coming in. Love. <laughs> I've never seen this card come up. So they had this deck. Love, right dead in the center. And sweetness. Just a couple of messages there. And intuition also plays a part in this. Intuition intuition get some terror on this so I can explain it easier explain it oh sorry guys excuse me for a minute I'll be back okay <clears throat> your intuition isn't wrong there's a difference between your intuition and your emotions though there's mm -mm. Well, we are going through this transit, a lot of deep emotional craps when coming up and making the intuition really hard to hear. It's a small voice. You can still hear it. It's there. But yet, it's like the emotions are driving us to actions. Not good ones either. You know, we end up flailing or acting like bulls in China shops. on some, ah! And we snap and we go do it. It's such a deep ingrained, like... It's like every behavior pattern isn't healthy or doesn't serve us anymore right now. Just... It just grows in power and just nuclear bombs us, you know, like an atom bomb. <clears throat> However, with rest too, it's about slow down. Slow down. You're going to miss so many things if you don't slow down. That's mindset and that's physical action. For some of you, you know, some of this might have hit somebody out there, but slow down. If something happens, watch your, watch what comes up for you inside. Like how, ah, ah, why do you get mad? Is it because you're not in control? Emperor in reverse. Okay. For some of you, this is about control. Looking at these controlling behaviors, even if for minor things. Like, oh, great. Now I got to go do this. And I got to drive across town and do that. And yeah, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's hard for us to snap out of that, especially if we're already having a very challenging day and we're trying so hard to keep our heads above the water. And then we just get that one straw breaking our back. Here's one more thing. But what's happening right now, especially with intuition and the mystery and space growth, and it's been very apparent to, to a lot of, uh, you know, uh, spirit, spiritual peace spirits, <laughs> spiritual people. Okay. Uh, you may have been hearing this too in other YouTube, um, readings is we are infecting that collective energy. Yeah, energy is just funneling this heavy, dark yuck, you know, and all we can do and it can be hard and it can be frustrating, you know, but when we are clear-headed at peace and calm, everything just seems to roll. But once we get triggered, and, and then it's harder to kind of grab the wheel back. 
we end up being driven by our emotions and not in the plus sense either because the emotions uh may be in the form of anxiety freaking out oh i gotta get ahead of this uh you know jumping ahead before you even get a chance just okay so there we come really look at the look at it properly we're looking through the eyes of the emotions especially in triggered situations uh that it distorts everything it does and then sometimes you go oh, i should have waited oh i shouldn't have did that oh i shouldn't you know, now is not the time to jump into things. Now is the time to slow and steady wins the race for real. Okay, we got it. We got to. I don't even even if you get triggered, just sit sit on your hands. Just sit there and go. Okay, I got to wait till this passes, or I got to sit there and go. Okay, why am I going this far? Sometimes we blow shit up in our head without really realizing it because it's such an ingrained, you know, pattern. You know. But anyway. <clears throat> Once you let go and don't feed that energy, don't feed the don't feed the fodder going on in there, right? We're all going through this. But once you just let go, I'm not saying ignoring it because it's coming up for a reason. You just need to face it, address it, pitch it. Four of Wands came up with the Emperor in Reverse. For some of you, this is pertaining to romantic love. The Spirit saying it's someone new. Someone who is not a narcissist. <laughs> I just heard that very clearly. Not a narcissist. So forgive my attempt at trying to do an accent there. But um, feeling of meeting someone very much aligned. Possible twin action. Okay, possible. Okay. Love, sweetness, intuition. Putting the crap, give it a rest, right? In your head. Now, for some of you, this is going to immediately get you spinning a little bit on, are they the one? Are they not? Should I invest? Should I not? Should I? Those are two swords. Your intuition has already told you. Now, I will say this, since this is coming up now, it's our turn. <laughs> the Divine Masculine has been dealing with meeting uh, different connections um, for the past couple weeks. And they're getting taught that, listen, your first intuition is exactly it. I mean, they're going, I shouldn't say going through people, but their connections are happening at starting and ending really quick until they get it, okay? <clears throat> We're going to be tested here in matters of the heart for those uh, that resonates with okay so even if you're single okay it can happen don't give me that don't mm -mm. i'm just here to tell you what i get an analogy or an a vision i had when i was talking to my friend the other day a worldwide stadium, football stadium, okay? Just solid high walls. We can't get out. Barely, you know, see the top where it ends. Everybody in the world's in it. We're all kind of walking around and going, what's going on? And here comes a guy with a clipboard and wings and goes, uh, oh yeah, your twin's over there. Way! You can't even see where it ends that direction. That's how many people and how high the wall, everything. And you're like, okay, there are so many millions of people between you and them and them and you. So what's happening or what ha started to happen with Divine Masculine is now flowing into the Divine Feminine. It's our turn. Okay. <laughs> I keep hearing that. Thanks. Okay. Um, we will be running into people. We're, we can't help but bump into the people. We're like pretty much, you know, shoulder to shoulder. A little bit of space, but not much. And we're going to run into different types of people. Different connections, okay? And the only thing you can trust is that beautiful intuition. Okay? And this is where reflection comes up. You're going to see how you've grown. Okay? You're going to see very clearly. If, and you know what? It, especially if you've been single for a long time. Okay? Have had nobody, nothing, no targets, no nothing, okay? 
and here comes somebody and you're like, you know, you're just talking to blah, blah, blah. And you're like, wow, that person, blah, blah, blah. Now we may slip back into those past behavioral patterns when it comes to partners, when it comes to a connection. Okay. Um, it's the flex is going to be to catch that go. Okay. I don't need to worry if they're not texting me right away. Oh, if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. You need to keep focused here and now and keep going about your day. They'll come in. Okay. They will connect. They will talk to you. They will reach out. Okay. But most importantly, it's what your intuition tells you. Okay. It's not everybody's going to be feeling a connective energy is the thing. That's what's storing people a little bit. But the thing is, is we are all supercharged right now, energetically. Everybody wants to connect some way, somehow, whether it's like a guidance, like, oh, you got your shit together. I want to hang out with you. And maybe we misread that. Thinking, oh, I have this great connection with somebody. And, you know, if they're, oh, maybe they're the one. And we start daydreaming about it and shit and come to find out. They're like, well, how did you blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they start and you kind of go, well, I did this and that. Oh, that's cool. And then next thing you know, you're not talking to them as much, but you're still kind of trying to chase after them. No, no. Your intuition will tell you. It's not the emotions. It's the intuition. It's not going to be the energy. It's going to be your intuition. Okay. And it may put people in a halt. Okay. But slow and steady. Okay. Nothing's in a rush. Everything's in divine timing. Okay. It's not all going to be bad. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So for some of you, we do have strength. Very strong energy. Look at you. Rolling like a boss. Talking softly, but you're carrying that big stick. Okay. You don't have to be anything other than yourself. There's this huge confidence surge coming in from love, loving yourself. It's like, yeah, I've been through shit. You know, I deserve the best. I deserve to be. I don't want to be pretending I'm something else. Oh, I got to be this way with this person now. Oh, maybe they don't like this. So I'll change it. No, you're going to do you. And that's the end of it. Because your divine counterpart will not be critical at all. In fact, the very things you're most critical about yourself on, they are going to be all over. All over you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like bees and honey. Because there's a growth and healing that has taken place that you may not be fully aware of. Three of swords in reverse. Healing of the highest order. Love and sweetness. This is what you're giving yourself has helped you heal just tons. And you may not because maybe some of you are like, well, I don't see anybody to show me that. Some of you might be actually not realizing it, but you're subconsciously blocking people from coming in because you're afraid that you may still go back into those behavior patterns, still get the same crappy people, whatever. Okay. But that's not, but spirit says that's why they are, you're not going to be able to stop this coming spirit says. It's going to happen to all of us. Okay. Some way, shape or form. Some of you, it could be um, work connections. Okay. But I do feel this too. I, and I don't want to say the themes taken out of things uh, as far as us fighting against it after all the shit we've learned and all this stuff. But I feel like what we are realizing this week for sure is what we've been fighting for. It's not worth the energy. Okay. So there will be this kind of subconscious level of not allowing be certain behavior patterns when it comes to uh, love, okay, in the romantic sense. Now, as far as Thanksgiving goes, though, Spirit wants me to kind of push ahead here. <clears throat> Looks like a very calm and celebratory time for you guys this week. Or even if you're not celebrating it, this week looks like it's going to be like it's a lot more calmer. No more, uh, I don't feel walking on eggshells. I do feel more confidence is up because that energy is not going to be, uh, you know, all over us. Um, but I do feel that for some, it's small. Now, you may have two choices for Thanksgiving and you're like, oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I won't choose either one because if I go to one, the other one, they know each other, blah, blah, blah. Anything like that. So we're saying following your intuition. There is a compromise. Don't get to a point where you won't go to either because you'll really be just, oh, I should have went. Okay, now 
for others of you, I do feel that there is going to be an argument that somebody might try to drag you in on during Thanksgiving or around that time. So we're saying uh, it could overflow into the weekend. Okay. And there's you just like, mm, I don't even, uh, spirit's name, follow your intuition. If it tells you to get, get away from there now, go. <laughs> it's not up to you to make this decision for them. Okay. You may want, you may feel for both sides, but remember, this is something they have to work out on their own. And this is a, for some of you, uh, this might hit and you'll know who it's you is this is something that happens every time everybody gets together. It's the same two people and they always seem to just grab people and bring them into it. Uh, you no bueno, you're not going to do that this year. Okay. They've got to, I feel like a lot of people are just going to like, you know what? You go over there, you know, everybody's eating, you fight and we'll see what happens. I feel like it's a different hit. A lot, like people are exhausted. Okay, by the time we get things, we're gonna be tired on Thanksgiving. <laughs> we're gonna be tired. I feel like with all the running around and, you know, uh, fighting through things and situations, um, clarify that. I feel that we're all just coming to a point where we're tired. So that's where rest comes in. Don't push yourself. Don't push yourself, okay? Only help if you're feeling it. Don't feel obligated, okay? Don't. We all got to rest, okay? All right. Ooh, what you don't see this week, okay? This Seven of Swords energy, okay? There are things going on. Uh, we're going to do another pull on this uh, with Tarot. Hold on. But for this message here, Spirit says, what you don't see is things that have been working in your favor behind the scenes. And this is where I feel... Mystery, space, and growth are going to be very much highlighted, okay? For some of you, oh my goodness, maybe a bonus. Something's coming in financially with this Nine of Pentacles, feeling very safe and secure, all of a sudden looking around going, oh my God, I can't believe I have this. Oh my God, that just saved me, okay? And feeling, ending up like the King of Pentacles, okay? The King of Pentacles is very wise with this coin, Okay, um, so with this bonus, I feel like you'll be stepping into that. Don't be generous until you've taken care of you first. Don't worry about Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate down the road here. Uh, you need to make sure everything's taken care of financially for yourself first. And you're going to be really, really, really surprised, Spirit, saying about how you will be able to come through like a boss during the holiday season financially, okay? I feel like there's this huge blessing there, which will be awesome. Okay, now I need to pull more on that Seven of Swords for other people. What is that? Uh-oh. Why'd you do that? Why? Why? Mmm! Okay. Okay, Seven of Swords for some of you. Okay, maybe somebody snuck away, maybe somebody ghosted or, you know, just stopped talking, just vanished in the thin air where you're like, they're like, look over here. And they were, and you turn around, they were gone. Uh, maybe they were shady. Okay. Um, maybe you have this feeling that something's going on. Lovers. Okay. This is directly connected to a romantic companion or uh maybe you just met and you guys were clicking and okay um okay so what we see coming in is a return and you're not going to see this coming you're probably gonna, there's no way that's going to come back no way they're going to yeah. now this person <laughs> for some of you it's someone who was, you know, did something really shady. You found out about it. It was over. Okay. Well, that didn't work out for them. Okay. So they went into hermit mode. Okay. They kind of isolated and, you know, had to process all that stuff. Followed by the world card. Okay. So they processed, went through something, and they're starting a whole new phase. And now when they show up, and this is all major arcana here, okay? This is this is for real. 
and then we have temperate showing up in the upright okay so this person's going to come in and they're going to hit different their energy is going to hit you completely different uh even if you talk to them on the phone or you run into them face to face especially don't pay attention to texts unless they voice message you you know um uh, but the balance it's going to be very overwhelming like what happened to you you were only gone two weeks you know you didn't talk to me for two weeks or maybe they haven't talked to you in a month okay but they're coming back all right a lot more balanced you're going to find out something really amazing i feel like this brightness here they had to go through that it's almost like spirit had to man, man, created uh, the environment around your dynamic at that time when you were together. The, uh, yeah, to kind of take it apart because this person had to go through something and you couldn't be involved in that. Sometimes there's stuff that, you know, even though we care for our loved ones so much, especially romantic partners, we want to be the ones to help them. We'll hold you up. What can I do? We will do everything in our power. But there, I mean there are times when we have to do it ourselves right we are the ones that have to seriously like we got to handle it we got to process this especially mentally and emotionally okay now for some of you what you don't see coming is lovers could be two people or more okay with that mystery, space, and growth card, this is what you're going to see. Because you have grown. You're in a new phase, new cycle, okay? Um, with, the, with all the work you have done, you have taken yourself to that. You're ready for the new cycle of love, okay? And I really strongly feel that somebody's coming in. And you're going to feel the energy. It's going to feel very natural, balanced, like breathing. When you're communicating with them, you're going to feel that so deeply, you know? And you're not going to see it coming. Spirit's kind of sneaking them in around. Go, go, stand there. Stand there. You could meet them possibly at a Thanksgiving event. Okay. So try to watch those invitations. You know. If it feels good, do that. If it doesn't, don't. Okay. All right. Let's get you guys some guidance from Spirit. We're going to do a pick a card. Pick a number one, two, or three. Overall, it does feel like a very, there's a very good energy there for us to have. But that resting in the space and just being in the flow of it is what it is, you know, and instead of distracting yourself on social media or other outlets, you need to distract yourself by going here, talking to you, writing, writing it out, talking it out on, you know, voice memo or doing something that makes you feel good. Something that you need. Okay. And remember, if I drive with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate that so much. Ah, oh, as I was saying, number one, be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible. The problem is we want to keep our dreams new. Because we don't know what's out there, okay? Uh, we have broken through a lot of belief systems that we wanted things X, Y, Z, and now it's like that's blown up, and we're like, so what do, what do I want? See what jives for you. What, what, what really pumps your, your heart? I mean, what really gets you going? Be in the present. Don't worry about, I should have did this, that. Today's today. Now is now. Do not let your brain worry about stuff. Worry about stuff that isn't on your plate. And when you do think of the future, watch for the negative images. The negative. Oh, you know, it is going to be fun. Look at what good can happen instead of what bad can happen. Okay. If there's too much coming in, uh, like that the Two of Swords energy, you need to stop and step back for just a moment and just wait till every, the thoughts calm down. You calm down a little bit. And, and remember, Chandra, I don't need to answer right this second. I don't need to do anything right this second. Slow and steady. I need to breathe first and calm down. But when you dream of the future or look 
look ahead to Thanksgiving or the weekend after. Just remember and think of what good can come out of it. Think of all the, be creative. Think of all the different good scenarios that can come out of it. And leave the expectations at the door too. Just be here and now. And let the, let everything unfold on your table or be brought to your table in the right timing. Okay. Spirit says, okay, now you can deal with this. Now you can answer that. Trust me, it's going to be like that. Don't worry about the dessert sitting over there or the other meals you want to have. Don't worry about that stuff. Look at the plate you have right in front of you. Is it empty? Okay. You can put that aside. Then you can go grab that dessert. <laughs> all right, number two. Oh, don't forget I have all those hol I, hol holiday, holy, holy day specials. Thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> All these specials down below if you're interested too. Number two, treasure you. Sorry, treasure your loved ones. It's important to love others deeply. I just had a straight up message saying that for some of you watching this, this may be someone's last Thanksgiving. Okay, here with us on this beautiful blue marble. Okay, some of you already know this. So just make the most of the time that you have with the people around you okay during this time or even if you don't celebrate thanksgiving or not really going anywhere it's the people you do care about though really treasure them you know um listen to them be there for them especially if you happen to know that it's getting close to that time for some people out there um you know, time for them to leave us and just uh, making sure you're saying, you know, what you need to say to them. Appreciation. Love. Don't be afraid to tell them how, how they, how much they really mean to you during this time too. Treasure them. Treasure the memories, treasure the journey that they were on. And how they've influenced yours in such an amazing way. Sometimes we don't even realize that stuff until after, right? We look back and go, oh my God, I remember, oh shit, you know. Treasure the people around you. There are people in other places around the world. Some of them didn't have that opportunity. <sighs> to really tell them how much their loved ones meant to them. Okay. You do it though. So make sure you make the most of it in the most loving way possible. So it's going to support you 100%. And loved ones doesn't necessarily mean family. It could be a partner. It could be your animals. You know? It could be a friend. It could be your neighbor. So on that note, number three. Do something for someone. Okay. Give your attention. It says give your attention to another, but Spirit very clearly said give your attention to you. Give some attention to you. Do something not just for other people. Remember, we got to watch that balance energy, right? We don't have to go above and beyond to show that we are special. Look at me, look at me anymore. That energy is really losing air fast, like a deflating balloon. Um, but now it's time for us to, to remember ourselves, okay? Do something for you. Do something nice for yourself. Treat yourself. It doesn't have to be material. Maybe it's just putting some Epsom salt in a bowl and soaking your feet. That feels good. Give yourself a little, you know, foot massage. Those fuzzy socks afterwards. Ah. Oh. 
That makes my whole entire night. I'm telling you, every Sunday night. Buy yourself some flowers. Be thankful to yourself for getting you here and now. You're still here. You're watching this video. Just thank yourself <laughs> for watching my video. <laughs> That's not so bad. But um, <laughs> thank yourself for all the struggles that you've overcome. You know, the challenges you've surmounted, obstacles that were just impossible. Here you are. And maybe you're still in the midst of some challenging times, obstacles. But you're allowed to stop for a minute and rest. And give yourself, you know, a treat. <laughs> Something, some positive encouragement and gratitude. For showing up, for trying your best, even if it isn't perfect. And maybe it didn't make a damn bit of difference. Maybe this is something you never tried before, standing up, using your voice. But you did it. And for the people that support you through those times, doing something for someone doesn't necessarily have to be a material thing. It's a kindness. I can't tell you how many times when somebody's opened the door or... Uh, when I've dropped something and they, they come to help me, they, they, you know, they're coming from over there to help me to pick things up. And that is greatly appreciated. That's so kind. We need to show each other that kindness. Because you, you wouldn't even imagine the smallest gesture of kindness that can keep somebody going. Make them believe again in kindness. There are kind, beautiful people out there. Be thankful for you this Thanksgiving. Be thankful for your loved ones that are around you. But thank yourself. Truly be grateful to yourself. For getting through what you've gone through. It has not been easy. It's been such an emotional it's like a roller coaster off the rails, just not stopping from pretty much all of this year. But you're here. And it's just one step at a time now. Slow and steady wins the race. And trust me, even if you don't feel it or see it, you really are ahead of the game more than you are giving yourself credit for. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you all to the moon and back. And... I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving for those celebrating. And if you're not, I'm sending you good vibes to have an amazing week. Take care.